Gardens. Uh, just a couple of things here as we start the tour. Um, I am in a wheelchair, so moving from spot to spot is going to be a little tricky holding a camera, so there will be some pausing moments. I uh, hope you don't mind, but that's just kind of how it's going to be. Anyway, uh, this bed here, the long or the tall bushy thing in the back is an aronia bush, and it will hopefully be getting berries next year. And then I have yellow snapdragons and the orange flowers. I don't remember what those are called. Oops. And then I also have some little snack peppers planted in the bed as well. In the middle bed I will be planting okra. Here we have a hazelnut tree with uh, snapdragons down in the bottom and then up in those planters there is peppermint, um, yarrow, sorrel, and lovage. Here out by the street we have gooseberries and red currants and then just some little flowers down in between them. Here is the tree with the rhubarb and hostas and another little plant that I don't remember so if anybody wants to remind me that would be fabulous. Uh, just feel free to leave it in the comments below and I will send you a little shout out. Just another shot at the other side of that tree and um, yeah, I was just noticing that there are strawberries on the other side, and I do know what a strawberry looks like. I'm talking about the one, w the leaves with the purple down the middle. Those are what I don't know what they are, so if anybody knows, that would be fabulous. Here is a little shot of the roses going down the side of the house. And here is another hazelnut also with snapdragons in the bottom of it. Here are some currants and some dianthus and in that red pot back there is a cherry tomato and I also have a juniper bush and some mint and some various weeds so don't look too close at those. Here I have a fig tree and a big bunch of horseradish right up in the window well. And then we have gummy berries and um, tomatillos planted there. And then that uh, planted, uh, the big tall plant at the end of the bed is an elderberry. Through the fencing there I have a mulberry bush and then we have honeyberry bushes and all of them are looking kind of sad because it has been freaking hot here. Okay here we have honeyberries and calendula planted in those bricks down at the end of the bed. And then I've got tomatoes in the bed on the right, and um, sweet potato yam things in the end of that bed uh, with some tomato plants and a daylily. This bed is planted with a bunch of Jerusalem artichokes and a couple of random turnips. Down a little bit, there's the rest of the turnips. The snails have been going crazy in my garden, and that's just a whole nother drama by itself. Up along the fence, we have gooseberry, currant, and goji berry bushes. So that's kind of fun. And then scan down here a little bit, and you can see our sad little other mulberry that also is getting creamed by the sun. Here are some nasturtiums 
and some kale that has gone to flower. And in behind the nasturtiums is some walking stick kale, but those are just teeny tiny babies right now. So, um, behind the little fence there, we have blackberries. There is a giant tree mallow that came with the house. It is super, super invasive, but I like it because I can dry and powder it and use it as a natural thickener in soups and stews and that kind of stuff. Here are a couple of fig trees. They're just babies. And these ones are not um, cold tolerant. So we keep them in the house during the winter. Here is a shot of the seeds and seedlings growing on top of our picnic table. Um, my husband has converted this into a little greenhouse that we used when it was a little bit colder. Uh, one of my uh, things that I'm really looking forward to growing is the New Zealand spinach. Back in the back there is a big tall plant. Here is the back porch and we have an Ichiban or Ichiban eggplant and blue potatoes growing in the metal bin. And then back by the eggplant is uh, lamb's quarters and in the two little plants I have holy basil. Here are two little cherry tomato plants that we also have on the back porch. One is yellow and one is black, so we are looking forward to seeing how those go this year. This is a really cool setup that my husband also built um, using Larry Hall's rain gutter grow system, and you can find his instructions and stuff here on YouTube. Um, in the back, we had okra, but it got barbecued by the sun. And in the front, we have uh, just various peppers. There's some Anaheims and some uh, jalapenos, and so uh, the rain. How it works is the rain gutter holds water down below, and there's a little net cup that goes in the bottom of the barrel or the buckets. And so it ends up being self-watering, and so that's pretty cool. I don't know what we're going to put in those back buckets yet, but there is a trellis there just in case we put something that wants to climb. There is some yacon planted in a little bin, and um, this is really one of my favorite things in the garden kind of looks wimpy right now because of the sun and heat and madness going on with the weather so uh, hopefully it will pull out of it soon. This little bed right here is our kid garden for our grandbabies. Um, I had the whole thing filled with sunflowers but the smell got to them. These are some trellises that my husband also built that are eight feet tall and the plan was to grow Armenian cucumbers and tomatoes and um, some other climbing stuff but snails and heat got to those too so your guess is as good as mine as to what will end up happening with those. In that back corner we have a lilac bush and you can see uh, my daughter's little tomato plant in the back there as well that her teacher gave to her and that, that's been fun to grow. Anyway, that is a look at our garden and I'm going to end here with a little shot at the, the peppers because those actually look pretty good right now and I'm kind of happy that something is surviving between the heat and the bugs. So anyway, if you like this, please like, share, comment below, uh, give me some love on YouTube, I guess, 
Uh, if you'd like to follow my adventures, I would love to have you subscribe. Uh, and we'll see you next time. Thanks and have a good day. Bye.